Hello and welcome to Piano Lessons Boulder. I'm Sarah Hager. Today we will look at another Viennese waltz. Uh, it's called Over the Waves and it's by Juventino Rosas. So when we think of a Viennese waltz, we generally think of an Austrian composer like Johann Strauss or Wald Teufel who wrote the Skaters Waltz. But Juventino Rosas was a Mexican composer and he had his own band, and this waltz made him world famous. At the age of 25, he moved to New Orleans, where, unfortunately, he died during an epidemic of typhoid fever at the age of 25. So he was the youngest composer to die. Even Schubert lived to 32 and Mozart to 35. But before Rosas died at the age of 25. He left the world, the immortal legacy of this beautiful waltz. Before I play it to you and then followed by a brief tutorial, once again I would like to point out that Viennese waltzes were written for bands or orchestra, not for piano solos. So whenever you play a Viennese waltz on the piano, you're playing a piano transcription. Here it is. that proclaims that life is good, all is well with the world. And then it goes into a brilliant section just before the end. 
Mm. And that is typical of a Viennese waltz. Every Viennese waltz had some brilliant moments. The next is a lilting section, wonderful for the dancers. <laughs> You must remember that a Viennese waltz is not just meant to be heard, above all, it's meant to be danced to. The next section is heralded by a, a really brilliant modulation from G major to E major. And that leads us to E major. Now, here yeah, there is a delightful hemiola effect. It's not really a, a hemiola. But whereas the left hand continues to play the Viennese waltz rhythm of one, two, three, one, two, three, the right hand plays one, two, three, 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 one. So it emphasizes the third beat, it syncopates against the left hand. It's a little difficult to do, but I've taught this to any number of students. And I'm happy to say that when they practiced slowly, counting aloud, they were able to overcome this difficulty in every single case and eventually play it with ease. So practice like this. One, two, three, one. Two, three, one, two, three, one. count aloud. You have to do it quite a few times. This section with octaves, again some students have difficulty playing that, so I tell them that practice this waltz by playing this line first several times. Don't play from the beginning. And last but not least, in two sections, there is a wonderful transition without any mourning from the brilliant to the tender. Both times, Rosas goes from G major to A minor. And then in this section, Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.